Well, Christchurch youths are still experiencing trauma nearly five years on from those earthquakes. And that's what the Red Cross had to say. And tomorrow they'll be bringing snow to Cathedral Square to bring some joy, joy to those still affected. Here's Chelsea Daniels. The team at Bounce are dedicated to the welfare of Christchurch youth, with their website promoting mental and physical well-being being launched this week. Since the earthquakes, many Cantabrian teens face new hurdles on a daily basis, and project coordinator Hannah Dunlop says it's important not to forget this. We realised that actually young people want to talk more about well-being than they do want to talk about stress. There's also some other really great resources around talking about stress and anxiety and depression. And so what can we offer that's a little bit different? Uh, so yeah, we went through a process of rebranding and we came up with the name Bounce Live Life Well. The site aims to give teens tips and activities about how to live life to the fullest as they go through a difficult time in their life. Adolescence is a pretty tumultuous time. There's a lot of chemicals rolling around in the brain and it's pretty much one of the most concentrated periods of development um, for people. And yeah, in terms of where young people are at with their brain development, I'm not a neuroscientist, but I've been to a few courses and I've heard, um, and it, you know, it makes a lot of sense about actually, it's a really tough time. So what do teenagers have to be stressed about? There's a lot of things um, to be stressed about. There's school, there's pressures of, of trying to figure out who you are, your identity, knowing yourself, um, social situations, and then there's some other complicating issues that come through as well, through mental health issues as well. And Hannah says that the earthquakes have made an impressionable impact on our youth as well to do with the earthquakes is that family life can be really stressful. You know, parents dealing with unresolved um, insurance claims, having to move house several times, depending on the living conditions that you're in, um, depending on what side of town you live on. So how easy is it for you to get to school? Do you have to catch two buses instead of one? Um, just things like that. Uh, and, and, and being in a slightly more stressed school environment as well. I mean, we know with, with some of the issues that have happened around school closures and, and, and mergers and things like that, that can add stress as well. The Bounce team, who are a derivative of New Zealand Red Cross, organised a special event for tomorrow, something that they expect a lot of Cantabrians will enjoy. The aim for tomorrow is mainly just to, you know, give give people, young kids, something to do in the city, um, attract them back in the middle of Christchurch, give a real good psychosocial boost to them, um, and also promote bounce.org.nz. The snow party being held in Cathedral Square will see 30 tonnes of snow from Mount Hutt and have a range of different activities for young people. And they're expecting a big turnout. Minimum of 300 people, maximum of probably 3,000. We're not really sure, but up to 3,000 people we're expecting to turn up. Their website launched this week and promotes content for youth by youth. Uh, if you go into bounce.org.nz, um, it's primarily around five key tips. is uh, do what you love, treat your body well, connect with others, make a difference and know yourself. So all the content that's on the website is sort of based around those five key tips. Um, it can be anything from, you know, like a music selection. It can be like a blog post. You know, there's recipes on there. There's all sorts of things to, you know, get people engaged. The snow party tomorrow starts at 1 p.m. with live music from Stevie Tonks, Drax Project, more DJs and special guests. And they're expected to hand out over a thousand cups of free hot chocolate. Chelsea Daniels, CTV News.